Hey folks, welcome back to another top 10 list with yours truly, Sam Healy. This is a uh, list that I'm doing all by my lonesome. It is going to be an Essen list though. I'm talking about games that I think you should go demo at Essen. If you're gonna be at Essen, these are some of the games that are on my radar and there are games that probably should be on your radar. Now, why am I making this list in addition to the other two lists that we've already made about games that we, we know are good and games that we hope are good? Well, here's the thing. Uh, these are games that are only available for demo at Essen. You won't be able to purchase them right off the bat, at least according to the BGG ranking list, you're not gonna be able to purchase them. Uh, so there is that. Now in this list, I have uh, four games that I have played and I know they're good and I'm telling you, you need to go give it a try if you haven't yet. The other six are games that I have not yet tried but I definitely want to give them a try based upon everything that I know about them. I'll be including the booth uh, numbers and locations for all of these different games as well to try to help you navigate your way around all of those massive halls at Essen Spiel. So there you go. Let's go ahead and get to my top 10 Essen demos. Number 10 is Tortuga 2199. This is at Jet Games Studios booth, Hall 5, H130. And uh, this is a space exploration game and I like the look of it and I like... The fact that it has this, uh, I don't know, this kind of piratey, space piratey type feel with it. Maybe it's just the name that's giving it to that because when you look at the actual game laid out, it looks really good. Um, but I can't really see that there's any piratey there. But Tortuga 2199, that just feels piratey and space exploration-y. And so I'm really uh, interested in giving this a try, at least giving it a look. I don't know that I'm going to have all the time I need to to get all to all six, at least the ones that I haven't played. Uh, but I will, I'm going to at least go by and check it out and see it being played. But you should do the same. That's Tortuga 2199. My number nine is a game called Infinity Defiance. And this is by Corvus Belly. And this is going to be in Hall 6, L109 for the booth number. And uh, this one is a miniatures game and it just looks really good. I've seen other things that Corvus Belly have put out over the years and I've always been very uh, enraptured by them, so to speak. And this one is no difference. Um, I really think that uh, it looks like a good game. It looks like it'll be fun. If I remember correctly, some of their games are a little bit on the heavy side as far as rules are concerned, uh, but I'm still interested in it. I still want to give it a try. That's why it's at the uh, top end of the list uh, rather than in the lower number. But that's uh, uh, Infinity Defiance from Corvus Belly. My number eight is from Pandasaurus Games, and this one is called Godspeed. Now, the theming of this is really what's piquing my interest here. The whole idea of the space race was a lie, and it was just to uh, help fund something that's been going on for years before we actually tried to land on the moon. And so I really like that intriguing kind of conspiracy theory idea that's behind the game. Um, but that's really what's pulling me in here. I, I like the fact that uh, Pandasaurus is making it. They have a pretty good track record as far as I'm concerned. I like even some of their lighter games, some of them, not all of them. And, and I really liked Wasteland Express Delivery Service. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they're doing here, but it's really the theme that's capturing me more than anything else. I'm just hoping that it's good. My number seven is a game called Arkeis or Arkeis. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but this is from Ankama. They're going to be at Boo uh, in Hall 2, A113. And uh, this is a cooperative game. It almost looks like a dungeon crawler that's set in ancient Egypt. <laughs> the miniatures look amazing. The tiles look amazing. Uh, I like the idea of having this cooperative uh, story. Uh, I guess, I, I think it's a story-driven kind of game. Uh, but it really looks good and it, and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun because games that look great are just more fun. So that's my number seven, Arkeys from Ar Ar Ankama, sorry, uh, Hall 2, A113. My number six is a game from Go On Board uh, and they're going to be at, in Hall 5, booth M103. And uh, this one is called Titans. Now, I first became introduced to Go On Board through a game that has already 
had two previous uh, Kickstarters that were successful, one in Poland and one in here, here in America, and that is uh, uh, Valhalla. It's a card game, really fun, a lot of cool mechanics. I've talked about it before, you can go check that out. But this one is a new miniatures game that they're coming out with, and oh my goodness, does it look good. I have actually already scheduled a time uh, to demo this with the designer, uh, and I, I really want to get this one tried because it looks fantastic. Uh, so I encourage you to go buy and take a look at it because I definitely am. That's my number six, Titans from Go On Board. My number five, still in the games that I don't think I've played. Now this one is a little bit uh, strange because after looking at the pictures again, I think I may have played this game, but I can't remember specifically because the name just doesn't grab me. This is from Mythic Games. It's called Super Fantasy Brawl. And it's basically, you're going to build a team of three fantasy-esque type heroes, and you're going to be battling it out on this board. It almost looks like a MOBA style game, but it isn't that I remember. Um, and again, I can't remember if I actually played this game. It just looks really familiar to me. So I think I have, I just don't know for sure, but I'm definitely gonna go give it a try because again, Artwork is phenomenal. Miniatures are amazing. The board looks great. The different uh, skills and abilities of the different guys you're going to be able to, uh, and gals, that you're going to be able to uh, uh, control on the board are look fun. So I'm really getting, uh, I really want to get this uh, demoed. And so I hope that you guys check it out too. That's my number five. Uh, Super Fantasy Brawl Mythic Games. They're going to be in Hall 2, booth f 113. Now the remaining four games on my list, I have played all of these and I can tell you beyond the shadow of a doubt that they are good games and you should go give them a look. Now of course, these games aren't going to be for everybody as with any other game that's out there, but if your uh, tastes align anywhere close to where mine are, you need to go give these a try because I've already played them and they are very good games. My number four is uh, Glory, A Game of Knights. This is going to be uh, at Strategos Games, Hall 5, G100. Uh, this is a game that basically simulates uh, what a knight and his uh, team of people go through getting that knight ready for a tournament and battling through the tournament in the different heats, the joust, the, the swords, uh, uh, archery, whatever it might be. But uh, it's, it's a resource management type game, actually, uh, with a little bit of worker placement in there as well, as you send your different people out to go get the things that you need for the next tournament. It's a really great, fun game, and it's a sprawling game. Uh, but be well worth your time to go check it out. It is fun. I enjoyed it a lot uh, when I played it at Essen last year. They're still demo demoing it this year, but go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. My number three is a game that I was introduced to first at uh, the last Dice Tower Cruise. Um, and uh, Breaking Games was there. They showed it to myself and Mark Street. We play a three-player game of it. We had a great time. We've actually also played Dwellings of Ever Elder Vale, sorry, uh, here at, at uh, the studio with a live playthrough. So it's it's very fun. You can go check that out. But I would really seriously encourage you to go try the demo at Essen if you're going to be there. They're going to be in Hall 4, D102. It's Breaking Games. It's a very fun game. Lots of... Not new mechanics, but they feel fresh. They feel new because they've, they've combined them in a, in a very unique way. I liked it a lot. Go try it out. Dwellings of Eldervale. My number two is a game that I have played before, but this is a second edition, so it's got to be better than the first, right? <laughs> well, usually that's the case. This is Guards of Atlantis 2. This is a MOBA-style game where you're going to be controlling uh, different heroes, but then you're also going to have some kind of henchman-type characters that you're also going to be moving around and using for defense and, and helping you attack and that type of thing as well. But uh, it has a really interesting card play system that it, that's in it. I don't know what they've changed. That's one of the reasons I want to go try it out again to see what they've uh, kind of tweaked and where they trimmed the fat and, and so to, so to speak. But uh, I liked the original Guards of Atlantis, Guards of Atlantis 2. Hopefully it's going to be better. I think it will be though. Uh, so you can go check that out. Wolf Designer is the uh, company and they're going to be in Hall 5 
H120, H120. Uh, so go check out Guards of Atlantis 2. And my number one game for demoing. If you have not yet demoed this game and you fall in line with me at all in any of your tastes, you need to go try this game. It is a great thematically rich experience. That is Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. Uh, this is also going to be from Mythic Games, Hall 2, F113. Uh, so it's two for one, right? You go to one booth, you get you demo two, I think what it will be good games uh, with the uh, Super Fantasy Brawl and, and uh, Joan of Arc. Uh, you you know how much I enjoy this game. We've, we've played it online, we've played it live, we've uh, I've done unboxings for all this stuff. It's, it's, it, it's just a fun game super thematic, deep, enriched game with very simple uh, mechanisms in it. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So that's it for my top 10 games that you need to go demo at Essen. Uh, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe we'll demo it together. Who knows? Uh, but uh, definitely try to give it a shot. At least go by and check them out and take a look, see what you uh, uh, can see, ask questions and so forth. Thanks for joining me. I certainly appreciate your time. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.